to be Fun Facts Friday. Today I'm going to be talking and showing you a little bit more about this beauty. So for those of you who didn't know that this was part of my Fun Facts family, um, basically, I mean, I did mention this um, on a vlog on my other channel a few weeks ago. I happened to get this for free. It is the pocket size Safiano in the aqua colour. And I love it, and um, I'm just so grateful. So um, just to give you a basic, you're probably thinking, how the heck did she get this for free? It was a weird, random, bizarre scenario in a supermarket. And um, this was in, a, in the clearance section, along with um, some of the personal size as well. And... Um, I, there was no price, so I asked at the checkout what the price was, and um, it kind of came up with a massive error, and anyway, she went and got her supervisor, and they said, sorry, we can't sell this to you, so I was like, a bit weird, okay, fine. Anyway, I was just walking out of the shop, and um, the supervisor came back to me, and she said, we can't sell it to you, because they've got to be destroyed, um, because they've only got this year they've got this year's diary in them and because it's halfway through the year we can't sell diaries that are that much out of date she said but if you really want it you can have it for free so i was like uh yeah hello of course um which in itself just really perplexed me because the whole point of filofax is that you can um change the inserts. I mean, it was, they had inserts, the diary in there was good until the end of this year anyway, so still usable, and then you just buy, buy or make your own or print inserts for next year. So, to me, that was absolutely bizarre. Why, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure, I mean, I used to work at this particular supermarket, and we did used to have to waste things, which did mean destroy things, which is criminal, really. Um, so anyway, this is how <laughs> I could talk about that all day. So this is how I got this little beauty for free. And um, I really, really like it. And I've already got two pockets, as you know, um, and neither of which I'm actually using at the moment. So <sighs> I was a bit like, what am I going to do with this pocket? I mean, I was going to buy it, and I don't know why I was going to buy it. I mean, it was in the clearance section. Um... And I was potentially going to buy it if the price was right, just because I absolutely adore it. It is beautiful. It's, I mean, I'm a big fan of the Safiano anyway. It's really nice. I don't know. It's one of those got a real tactile kind of, ooh. <laughs> I'm starting to go a bit on the weird. But you fun facts loving gals will probably understand that when you kind of want to go, ooh. Ooh, <laughs> you know, it's starting to get a bit bizarre, but you understand what I mean. It's kind of, it feels nice, and I just really like the way it feels in my hand. It's kind of a bit um, slightly padded, it just feels really nice. We, which got me then to thinking that, ooh, that feels kind of like it could be a purse or a wallet. And so I was like, yes, that's what I'm going to do with this little baby. I'm going to turn it into a purse. Um, my purse was starting to get a bit worn and I kind of starting to think about getting a new one anyway. Haven't really been able to find one I liked. And um, I saw quite a few people on YouTube have turned Firefaxes into purses or wallets themselves. So I thought, hmm, hmm, yes, why not give that a go? So I have. And so I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to um, show you my setup and how I got this how I like it for myself right then so here we go here is my beautiful Safiano absolutely gorgeous and as I said I love her so let's delve in so we can see it's got a nice um popper there a little um class snap or class whatever you like to call it um and yes, yeah, so it's very sort of purse-like already. So moving in, we've got a pen loop on the side there. I haven't actually got a pen in here yet because I can't decide what pen to use. Problems. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to put a pen in there or not because it would be a bit more on the bulky side. Um, then it would be quite useful to have a pen when you're out and about. So I'm not sure. We shall see. 
Um, okay, so going in then, on the side here we've just got two of the um, credit card, business card slots. In there I'm keeping my bank cards. Obviously I'm not going to pull them out because then they would have my details on. Um, but what I do like about these is that the pockets are really deep, so you can put your... Um, bank cards in there and you know you can't you know not worry about them being seen and they're quite difficult to get <laughs> they don't fall out is what I mean they're easy to to take out but they're in there quite firm so they won't just fall out which is what I really like and then uh, what I also like about the Safiano is you've got this little bit um, here little pocket there now I don't know about you guys but these days I mean I'm kind of like the queen you know I, I very rarely carry cash you know <laughs> but these days everywhere takes cards so I don't really have much of a need to um, carry lots of cash with me so the fact that you can just open this and your cards are on the side there is just perfect and then this little pocket I find that I'm tucking receipts in there you know I don't need to go much further back in my in the file facts I can just I can just open it up, take my card out, pay, shove my receipt in there and then put my card back in there. And that's working really well for me um, at the moment. I do, however, have this um, uh, coin purse here that I made. I actually filmed the making of this and I shall post the tutorial um, of this channel for next week, for next week's Final Facts Friday. Um, so that's in there, you know, it's in there really firm, you can pull it. <laughs> so that's got a few coins in there if I need it. I mean, basically, if I'm going into town and I need car parking money, then um, I kind of have that in my car, you know, like some like petty cash in my car ready to go. So I, as I say, I don't really need to carry that many coins around, but this little purse, little pouch is just perfect for um, doing that if I need to. So that's got some coins in. I also have a smaller one which um, I made. This was a this was the prototype for this larger one, but I've decided to keep it in there for keeping any notes in there. So this one's for coins. This one's for notes, um, and you know it's working. It's working well for me at the moment. Moving on, I've got one of my um, dashboards in there just because I wanted something um, pretty and you know just to kind of like protect some of the stuff. Um, going going backwards really um, so that's one of my one of my bunnies and then moving on this um, little plastic sleeve actually came in the Safiano and I'm just using it to put um, coupons and vouchers in there at the moment so this is for the um, boots the chemist um, you know for like when you buy so much in a transaction I'm just you know storing my points in there so that when I'm out and about um, I've got them with me and I know that I can just pull them out if I'm in boots so that's working really well so that's in there then I've got in here um, a fly leaf that I showed you this in a previous file of Axe Friday that's um, from an Etsy shop from just keep pinning she kindly sent me one of those and the, it's a mint color so it does match the Safiano really well so that's just in there for a bit of prettiness then, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I like having photos in my in my purse. So I printed out um, a photo of me and the mister, and I laminated it and hole punched and put it in. In fact, I did it double-sided. So there's a picture of us in there. Just me and my boy. Yeah. I've got a couple of pictures of the girls. Um, I just haven't got round to hole punching and laminating them um, yet because I haven't needed to do any laminating and I kind of don't want to turn the laminator on just for doing one tiny thing so but um, as soon as I'm laminating again um, I've got some pictures of the girls to put in and then I've got this zippered um, little pouch thing I was originally going to use this for coins but I was a little bit concerned about this zipper a bit here it's um, it's not very robust and I feel like it's going to break really, really easily. Um, so I'm not using that for coins. I, this is an actual Filofax brand um, and I bought this from eBay. I think I bought this for £1.50 off of eBay. A um, little bit disappointed in the quality. I suppose it's only meant for to use, you know, now and then. Um, so it's in there. I thought I could always keep receipts or 
more. See, it's not even doing that. There we go. So I thought I could always keep more receipts or coupons in there. I may end up taking it out because I'm just really not sure about it. This the, the this bit's fine on the um, on the rings, but here it's just I don't know the quality of the zip's just a bit naff to be honest. So that might not be staying in there. Then I've got um, a couple of the um, business card holders. Again, these were a Filofax brand, and I bought these for two pounds each. Um, disappointed in in these to be honest um the the holes are really tight and um that you just have to really struggle to move to move the rings over and it keeps getting caught so i don't know whether that's just something that needs to be needs time to to loosen up but sort of struggling with that a bit so i'm not terribly impressed with that so far um, and in here, I'm just keeping my um, keeping my store cards, my loyalty cards. Now, um, the ones that I use most often are at the top because they're really easy to pull out. The ones at the top, not too easy that they'll fall out, but easy enough that you can get out. However, the ones in the lower one are really quite difficult. You kind of have to oh, really get your fingers in there, and you know it's really tight, really hard to get out. So. I don't know. I may look at what else I can what else I can do. I'm not terribly impressed with you know not being able to get those out very very well. So, we shall see. Anyway, they've just got loyalty cards in there. I did have my driving license in one, but I've taken it out for purposes of this video. So, that's that. Um my library card. I really don't have that many loyalty. Just you just really have to jiggle the the loop, you know, jiggle it around a little bit, which is not very smooth. So, you know, that that is how I would expect it to be. But there we go. So that's my um, my setup. I shall put more. Um, I shall put photos on the on the blog if you wanted to have a bit of a, a you know a closer closer look. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed having a bit of a, a look around my purse. Um, we'll see whether I will continue to use it as a purse, whether I'll change the setup, whether it will annoy the hell out of me after a while, I don't know. But because I didn't pay anything for the actual thing itself um, and everything in there that I've done um, was inexpensive, I'm willing to give it a good try and um, yeah, to see how it goes. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Next week I um, will be posting the tutorial on how I made the, um, the pouch inside, the little zipper purse inside. So if you'd like to make one for yourself, either as a coin purse, um, for your pocket purses, or for a pencil case for your larger five faxes, then um, I'll post a tutorial on that. So that will be um, next week. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.